อะไรหรือยัง
cometh Mary Magdalene early, when it was yet dark, unto the sepulchre, and seeth the stone taken away from the sepulchre. Then she runneth and cometh to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and saith unto them, They have taken away the Lord out of the sepulcher, and we know not where they have laid him. Peter therefore went forth, and that other disciple, and came to the sepulcher. So they ran both together, and the other disciple did outrun Peter, and came first to the sepulcher. And he, stooping down and looking in, saw the linen clothes lying, yet went he not in. Then cometh Simon Peter, following him, and went into the sepulchre, and seeth the linen clothes lie. And the napkin that was about his head, not lying with the linen clothes, but wrapped together in a place by itself. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Praise Jesus Christ. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Praise Christ. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise Praise Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. If something is very, very important for you or to you, you will give it focus, you will give it attention, you will give it detail, you will not be able to sleep, you will not be able to rest. When I began to watch By the way, what we are doing, I know that many of you are tired of church. What we are actually doing is the work of the holy ministry of Jesus Christ, still available for our generation, for the 21st century. We are doing the work of mission. This is still the acts of Jesus. This is still the acts of the Holy Spirit. This is still the acts of angels. This is still the acts of God the Father. This is still the continuation, unbroken chain of the work of God from the days of Adam and Eve to Abraham, to David, to Jesus, all the way to Paul, the teacher. So remember what I said, this is still the unbroken chain of the mission of Jesus, our anointed one, our savior, our Messiah, the one that we love very much. This is still the unbroken mission work of the Holy Ghost. This is still the unbroken mission work and holy ministry of God the Father, of the holy angels of God and of the women of the women who followed jesus with mary magdalene and the joanna and salome mary the mother of jesus all of them and all the other disciples this is still the continuation of their acts that we are doing this is what separates us from the rest of them this is still the acts of jesus that is happening so it's, it's not that we are running a business church or a traditional church as such. No. This is a, a continuation of the mission of Jesus, the Messiah. That's what we are doing. So that is why miracles happen very easily. Mary, Mary, our, I'm talking about the Mary of our mission. I know she will be very happy with me to hear this kind of thing. I know Vivian... Vivian loves this kind of thing and, and Victoria go crazy with this kind of thing. She's very, very happy. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 So, dear Holy Spirit, 
This is your opportunity to continue your acts. Jesus, this is your opportunity to continue your acts. God the Father and the Holy Angel, this is your opportunity to continue your acts. And all the women and men who have followed Jesus from ages to ages, all spirit made perfect by the crucifixion and resurrection, this is your time to continue your acts. And we are the vessels. And we are the inheritors and benefactors of these good things. Let's go. Amen. Amen. The first day Amen. of the week. Mary Magdalene. Early. When it was yet dark. What is a single woman doing? In the dark. This is even before twilight. When we read the other stories. The other parallel gospels. It looks like she didn't come alone. Because that would not be wise. It looked like she came with the other women. And remember. Remember. When we dramatized this a few years ago, he asked those other women to stay where they are protected. Maybe somewhere, let her go alone. So if that's how that's how smart this is done. If they attack me, if the soldiers attack me, well. If they open for us, then I will invite, I will give you the sign. You all can come. Because that's the wisest thing to do. That's how this is. So, she put herself in a harm's way. All because of the person she loves. I've seen many of you. When that was your last dollar. Your last krona, your last euro, your last English pound sterling, and you send it to me. And you don't know how moving that is. I have been in a situation that the last ten thousand dollars in my pocket, I put it out for you. I've been in a situation that I have to release 20000 to put it out for my partners. This shows you the level of honor and trust. If something is very important to you, you'll give it your all, you'll give it your best. So it means that even during the Sabbath, on the Saturday that they have to observe the Jewish Sabbath, these women were busy getting ready to go. On the Sunday, the first day of the week, according to the Jewish calendar, to go and see what has happened to their Lord. So even if they were not They didn't go to the cemetery on Saturday. They were restless. They were in their homes, but their mind was where Jesus is. So after church services, where do your mind go? Some pornography sites? Some gambling sites? Some getting drunk places? Hmm. Where do your mind go? To old boyfriend and old, old marriages and relationship that almost took your life? To people who didn't like you anyway, who tolerated you? Is that where your mind goes? 
you will keep in perfect peace everyone whose mind is dead on thee. Yeah. So where is your mind? You think Easter was Easter Sunday. And, and God has proven us wrong. Easter continued from, East, from the Easter Vigil, the Saturday before Easter, all the way to May 26th, the resurrection. Still Easter. If, if I want to continue that, people get tired of it. But I'm not. I'm still celebrating. I'm still enjoying. The more I celebrate Easter till almost the end of May, the more God gives me. The more he sees how much I appreciate the resurrection and the crucifixion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tortured to death. Death. Tortured to death. That's the meaning of the crucifixion. Death by torture. That I really appreciate it. I really, really appreciate it. That's why all the different saints days and all the other feasts till, till ascension, uh, the feast of the ascension, I don't celebrate them. When you read some of the church's lectionary, some of the church's readings, they are already doing things about the apostles, already about doing their business. No way. I refuse to read those things. I'm not in a hurry for anything like that. Because I'm following the footstep of Easter. Where was Jesus all this time? Till Ascension Day, till when he left. What was he doing with them? That's what I'm interested in. Because what he was doing with them, what he was telling them, that's exactly what I want him to do with me. And that's exactly what I want him to give me. What he gave them, he must give it to me. And we are going back to the scripture to see. He blew on them and they received the Holy Ghost. He opened their eyes and they now knew the scripture. All of that, we must get it. If we don't get it, we are not passing, we are not going anywhere. Amen. 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 Because a lot of people are still following Jesus and they are doubting everything about him. They don't even believe that Jesus can cure them. They don't even believe that he can make them rich. They don't even believe that he is still on. His mission is what we are still doing up till today. Where is your mind? And Mary Magdalene and the women, their mind was... In the cemetery where the body of their Lord was buried. Because the Lord said that in three days he will rise again. So their mind was where he was laying. If something is not important to you, will your mind be in that place? No. How did they put... Mary, you are the one who knows all these, uh, all these proverbs. Uh, that when somebody is far away, uh, you, you, your mind is not there. How did they put that? How do they put that proverb? Um, mm, Vivian, maybe you know it. That because the person is distance, you leave, so everybody say to you goodbye, nobody focus on you anymore. Because no, you, you yeah, because you look at you look at the male disciples, the male disciples of Jesus, what were they doing? Planning how they are going to restart their own life with their families. Go back to fishing. You are going to see Simon Peter even took them and they went back fishing. Let's discuss how we are going to start our life without this man. Without Jesus. That's what they were planning. While the women were not talking about how to restart their life without Jesus, what they were talking about is how to get Jesus back. Yeah. How do we continue our business, the mission of Jesus with him? While the men were thinking about how to do the mission of Jesus without him. You see the difference here? Yeah, yeah. So early in the morning. They did not have no breakfast yet. Nothing. It was still dark. And this girl was out there already. To go and look for the one that she loves. If you tell me you love a man. You love your mom, your dad, your brothers and sisters, depending on what level of relationship you have with them. 
The question you should be asking yourself, is it a love that is so strong and tough? Is it a love that is full of energy? The vibration is so high. If you don't hear from them, you panic. It's exciting. I mean, if they don't treat you wrong, they don't trust you, don't believe in you, you do not need to in invest your, 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 your passion into, into them. You only in invest into people who have your back. And Mary Magdalene knew that Jesus had his back, whether in life or in death. And she believed that he will rise again because if she did not believe he will rise again, she will not go there to be looking for the, for the living among the dead. Are you guys listening to me? Yeah. This is a real believer right here. This is a real believer. <laughs> Believers are in different degrees. This is the highest form of being a believer. In life or in death, that's the person that I have. That's my life right there in that, in, that, in that casket. And I'm getting him back out of that cemetery. He's not supposed to be there. Okay, they finish what they want to do to him. What he said will happen to him is what I believe will happen to him. So I'm going there. Women, stay where you are. Hide there. Let me go and find out what is going on there. What has happened to him? Your mind, the totality of your mind... The totality of your focus, your concentration, is on who. Who means the whole world to you. You don't see that person. One day you don't hear from that person, you start to panic. Because that's your life. That's your money. That's your everything. And that woman was right. Dark. It was still dark. While it was still dark. While it was still dark, people are still sleeping. People have not yet woke up. Some women and men are busy about to start waking up and cooking breakfast. She didn't eat no breakfast. She went straight to go and look for her Messiah, for her God, her King, her brother, her everything. This is what Jesus' family members, his brothers and sisters are supposed to, be, to do. And they didn't do it. And many of us, we think that our family members are the ones who are coming to, to show us love, to give us money, to start businesses, to do this for us, to do that. And it's just pure second, second-hand emotion. They don't mm -hmm. care. You are the person they've been seeing. So what is it? What is different about What's special about you? That's why a lot of people, both in Africa and outside Africa, they see the one doing ministry, they are shocked. Because it's not the ID guy may right that they used to know. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's no longer one talaji go up. It's no longer Uriwo. It's no longer the, the Etubum. It's a different thing altogether. Yeah. Why? Because what is in you, when the time comes, what is in you will not sleep. What you were born with. That will make you famous, powerful, build you nations. Talking about branding. When the time comes, that thing is not gonna it's not gonna rest. It's gonna wake up. And God is going to wake you up. You will not run. Because whatsoever is inside you, I am asking the Lord to wake it up. Whatever gift you were born with for good. That is going to make you money. That is going to bring people to Jesus, our Messiah. That is going to increase our kingdom. I'm telling you the truth. Whatever, whatsoever God has put inside you, is not going to sleep. In the darkness of the night or early morning, he's going to wake up and go to go and seek Amen. how to how to get the best. Mary Magdalene went to go and see the best. She went to go and see her Messiah. I want you to begin to ask yourself, many of you who have received multiple miracles from the Lord, you have to begin to ask yourself, how long was your happiness? 
you all see how how I keep when Christmas come you see how I decorate you see how I keep it all the way till Lent and even after Lent Easter come the same thing why because this is my life this means the whole world to me Jesus means the whole world and outside this world for me and I'm not following him because I was told about him. I've gone beyond being told about him or reading about him, but because I've seen him. What you don't see, you don't value. It's just a story. Doesn't mean anything to you. Yes, it means the whole world to me. So I, I am not preaching a story. I am not preaching a story from the Bible. The story of the Bible helped me to know the person. Before I started reading the Bible, the women of my village, of my mother's village, told me already about the experience of Jesus. So I followed them long before I started reading the Bible. As a kid, they told me the story of Jesus. So I'm still following the acts of holy women who were here on earth, who took me in their arms and carried me to God, to Jesus. So I know what I'm telling you. So what I'm doing is not, for a lot of people, the Bible is everything. And the Bible is meaningless. It doesn't have no power, nothing. They are just telling you a story and giving you their own little fickle imagination from their little peanut heads. Mine is coming from an experience of the person. It's not coming from the story it's not coming from academics. So when I talk to you about the Holy Ghost, it's because I've seen the person, and that's why I'm honest. If you have, if, if you have seen the Holy Ghost, if you've experienced him, you've seen him, if you've seen Jesus and God the Father and holy angels, and you are still dishonest, then hell is for you. Let's continue. See, this woman put her life on the line. Didn't know whether the soldiers were there. Didn't know what is going to befall her. But she went. Coincidences will happen. When who you love. And what you love. Is bigger than you. Write it down as a power tip. Coincidences happen. When who you love. And what you love is bigger than you. Continue to write. In fact, this one is a second power tip. So write the second power tip. God makes sudden miracles happen to anyone. Who value Jesus and his kingdom? Who value and put, make sure you put, put. Who value and put Jesus and his kingdom first with total honesty? He makes sudden miracles available to them. Sudden ones. They are created instantly. So this woman came because Jesus is the most valuable person for her. She put things behind Jesus. Jesus first, others second, things third. That's how it goes. And that is the same truth. Until you put human beings who have been put out there for you, until, until you love them back, you stop judging them. You value what they bring to the table. God will never visit you. 
Stop spending your life with rascals, with people who will be of no use to you in the rainy days, in the days of hard times. People who, when you want to start a business, will not be there for you. Stop spending your time with those people. Spend time with people like Mary Magdalene, who couldn't sleep, was restless with the other women, and they went to look for Jesus. In life or in death, they are waiting. That's how you know who loves you. In life or in death. Whether you are sick, whether something bad happens, they don't judge you. They advise you. And you don't take offense at their advice. Because they will tell you something that you are going to put into practice and it will work for you. People who take offense when people who love them give them advice are fools and candidates of hell. Mm. When my core partners tell me, don't do this, I stop. Look at this, I look. Back off, I back off. Move forward, I move forward. Why? Because they got my back. And Jesus got the back of Mary Magdalene and the women. And also the men. But the women first. The women first. They got the back of Jesus. More than the men got the back of Jesus. The women got his back. And that is what I love about women. Because you find one woman who got your back. You got it made. You got it made. You need a woman like this. Those of you men who are looking for marriage partners. Start to ask God for a woman like Mary Magdaleno. Start to ask for this kind of a woman. And not just for any. God, most of you men are looking for women with big ikebe. Big ikebe. Big, big calves too. Not just ikebe, but big tights. Big calves. Big heads. Big, big mangoes. You know what mango means? <laughs> big, big boobs. You're all looking for this. And they are not asking God for women with big brains. Big mind, understanding minds. Women who got their back. Women with big jobs. Women with big money that come from a big job, not from a big sugar daddy. Who when, when, when this woman now begins, you are 30, 40, 50, forget it. He goes to look for another small sugar honey. The sugar daddy goes for the sugar honey. And now you become some old honey. Are you serious? So sweet old thing. Something like that. Because one day. The sugar daddy will dump you. Or the sugar mommy will dump you. Johnny no good. Sugar mommy will dump Johnny no good. Yep. Because Johnny handsome but Johnny no good. Johnny got no cha cha. Yeah. Johnny handsome but Johnny got no money. Because Johnny don't like to have a job. So one day, sugar mama will find somebody who got all that she has been praying for, wishing for. Johnny No Good will be dumped by the side of the road. So all of you, Johnny No Good, welcome to, to how things really are. Because Mama Sugar, not just sugar mommy, but Mama Sugar will soon dump you. I'm telling you. <laughs> She's just tolerating you. Yeah. You think you are the best in bed. Well, Mama Sugar knows better. Yeah. Mama Sugar knows better. Because all this time she's been your sugar mama. But one day she will become Mama Sugar. And that is a big difference between the two. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So, men begin to pray for a woman like this. If you want a sugar bunny, 
or a bunny sugar, whatever you call it. Or you want a, a, a sugar dolly dolly, you know? Uh -huh. Or a honey jolly jolly. Pray for this kind of a woman. Not just a woman who has sugar in her bumper. Ask for a woman who has sugar in her heart. That's what you should be asking for. Not just keep asking God for a woman with, with honey in her something. But ask God for a woman who has honey in her head. Come on. Mm. Hallelujah. When are you going to start asking God for what is important? When? When are you going to begin to ask? Instead, you are looking for a woman who will smoke crack and other kind of drugs, Mali, who will smoke marijuana, who will smoke all kind of things, some big old, some big old butt blunt with you, and that's why you want get high, really, get a little bit of money. You cannot even buy a house with it. Are you serious? Ah. <sighs> You think that Papa Sugar will buy you a house? Are you serious? If Sugar Daddy did not buy you one, why do you think that Papa Sugar will buy you one? Uh -huh. Papa Sugar took back his car that he bought for you. Because he found somebody who went to college or somebody who didn't go to college but has been stable in her job for the past 20 years. Do you think that, why do you think that sugar daddy changed from sugar daddy to papa sugar? You need a woman like this who got your back. Ha ha! Ha ha! This is what you need. You need a woman of miracle. A woman who got your back is the one who is bringing the miracle. How about like it, take it, they say? Hey! Many of you are looking for where it has. They've already baked the hot crush uh, buns. One a penny, two a penny. You are, you are waiting for where it has already been baked. You don't want to participate in it. This woman followed Jesus. And early, while it was still dark, she went to look for him. This is a lover. This is a mother. M-O-T-H-E-R. This is a real mom. This is a caring and kind woman. This is love forever. This is not a love for sell. This is a love to keep. I am asking God to give me more women, more ladies, more queens and princesses around the world who are like Mary Magdalene, who got my back. Who got the back of our kingdom. Hey! Father, I thank you that it is given and it is being given. I thank you for doing this. I thank you. Father, give me men who are like this woman. Give me men who are like this woman. A woman that is mentally aggressive for what is good and kind. A woman who when she walk out Blessed are you among women. You are blessed when you go out. You are blessed when you come in. And that is Mary Magdalene. You see, she went out and she went to look for her master, her boss. Blessed was she when she left the house. And she saw. She saw. Okay. So, begin to ask God to give you this kind of person, personality. This is the character that you need. And if you yourself, you do not have it, ask God to give it to you. I will see you next Sunday at 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time. My name is the Most Reverend Dika in my right. I'm one of the prince of the church. I thank you so much and I bless you with miracles in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 And amen. Amen. Amen, 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 amen.